Welcome back to Broken and Smoking. Once again, we're on the C10. Well, it's not a bad day here in Tennessee. Wind's blowing 90 to nothing, but it's not too hot. What we got going on today? Well, if you saw the thumbnail, you know Sasquatch plus C10, K10, 67, 72s equals fetal position. So what are we gonna do to correct that? Stay tuned. So what am I gonna do to correct that? Well, there's three things really that you can do to try to get more foot room. One, move the seat. Get a different seat. I like the factory bench seat in this. Not gonna move it. Some of them has the adjustable back, you know, where you can fold it up, insert stuff. This one does not have the gas tank back here, so in the future I may do that. But as of right now, I'm not doing that. This seat does not fold up. Easy mod to make it fold, but again, that's gonna be in the future. Second, move the steering wheel down. You can take, loosen up the column, collapse the intermediate shaft, and you can get a good two inches out of it. Done done that a long time ago. My main concern is the clutch and brake pedal. You know, it's hanging up in my double chin up here, and every time I clutch it, it just hangs up in the steering wheel. I can't stand it. And with this truck, you know, it's a hybrid of parts. You know, go to the pick and pull junkyard, pick what parts I can get for a reasonable price that I know I can make work and use them. That's the route I go. Let me show you what I've got going on. So I hope you can see a little bit because I've got the door shut because of wind. But uh, dead giveaway, this one don't fold forward is this has got a permanent arm bracket, seat, dumaflachi, whatever. But the ones that do adjust has another piece hanging right about here that's attached to the frame somehow. And it's got a bolt welded to another piece up here that goes down in the uh, hole. Believe it or not, it has a wing nut from the factory that keeps it from moving forward. But a lot of times people remove them wing nuts because it, I mean, it is aggravating to come over here and unscrew a wing nut just to move the seat forward, you know what I'm saying? So when we get ready to do it, I may do it the same way, or I might incorporate, try to build some kind of latch mechanism. I don't know yet. But this seat doesn't move as in back way. So the gas tank's removed, and as you tell, it's already up against the back wall. So it's really not gonna do me no good to do anything with it. Clutch pedals. As you can see, they're hanging a mile off the floor down there. We got to come up with something. And on my... And this is on my brake system. So this is a Hydra Boost off of a late model Tahoe or something like that. Probably 03, 04. And I made a bracket and made this and made that and I made it work. Brakes does awesome. But I don't have the big booster in my way. I'm using hydraulics, you know, for my assist, and it works out great. But this is what is fixing to get interested. Interesting. So we'll come over here, and I got something mocked up. 
mocked up you say yep mocked up see we got a artificial truck cab right here i guess you could say so i went ahead i got a piece in the vise here this came out of another truck and i got it clipped here i might can actually throw some tacks up there if i really need you to but i don't need to we got our angle of our floor floor pan mocked up there we got our clutch linkage rod going down at the same angle that it's set up over here in my truck brake pedal clutch pedal and you can see i have five inches right there of pedal travel even on the brake but when i measure on the truck I can hit my brakes and I've got, what was that? Two and a quarter inches of movement. So if I can, I'm losing my mind. I need to write this stuff down. Let me go to the old homemade dry erase board. So, we got the floor or firewall tow board, clutch and brake. We'll just call this the brake pedal for now. So, we got the brake pedal coming down. And it's got this little hoopty, whatever. And say we got five inches right here to the back side. So, when we apply the brakes, it changes to two and three quarters, or as my daughter would say, two and three fourths. So if we got two and three quarters room that we can lower this pedal down. But I'm not gonna use the max. I'm gonna try to keep it two inches. And that'll give us three quarters of an inch of play or free room, however you wanna call it. So that's my goal is to get two inches lower. If that makes any sense at all. Uh, sure. You got it. I'm using mathematics, and I'm not a mathematics, you know, type of person. But I think we can use our knuckles on our fingers and probably get enough digits that we can count up something. And we got to. Lo we're gonna try to move this pedal in two inches to get it, you know, lower. Does that make sense now? This one, the brake, probably be. So we're trying to gain two inches of foot room. The brake, I'm not worried about. Because I'd already done the math on all that. You know, you just seen me. The clutch pedal, on the other hand, <laughs> we might have to go and modify some of this geometrics to uh, get what we're wanting. Again, you can see I got a boat tacked up here, a little washer, and it creates a V so this thing could ride in. And what's so crazy is look at all five inches of pedal movement, and this thing right here barely moves. Let me see if I can get a good view of that. So from the 
ball outlet to come on tank measure and we're using a steric so we know it's precise might not be right but it's precise all right from the wall outlet to here you can see it's 18 inches can you see that zoom in on it if you need to now not my thumbs in the way wouldn't it so now i'm pushing this clutch pedal in five inches to get roughly an inch and a half of stroke or push 18 16 and a half 18 16 and a half can you see that and that's the main reason why i went ahead and mocked this thing up here because it's easier you know to work on it up here then with me hanging upside down my feet up in the rafters trying to do what i gotta do over there. so uh worst comes to worst i'll either change the whole assembly out when i get done or maybe i'll just pull the pedals and swap the pedals but these are the pedals that i'm fixing to modify i'm sitting here in my non-goodwill procrastinating chair Got this one from the yard sale, and it sets up a lot higher off the ground. And uh, I'm coming to some dilemmas. So I'm thinking we can cut it. You know, if we cut it completely off, we'll say up here, and move it to the back side, we're going to gain an inch and a half. Because that's an inch and a half, you know, wide. And we may still have to do that, but I'm thinking we could probably pie cut it, bend it down so we can get the pedal lower and closer to the tow board. And right now that seems to be the route I want to go, but I'm not too certain right now. Well, I think I got a game plan, and you know what I say about game plans. You take it and run. But on this one here, I'm, I'm trying to reel it back in a little bit, I'm trying to make sure, follow it, you know, think, try to use a little sense that I have, and uh, hopefully foresee the future, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So I took and drew out this little line that goes at an angle. From this side to this side is an inch and a half. So if we, if you can imagine sawing this completely off, taking this section and moving it to the back side, you're gonna gain that inch and a half. But, hang on. To gain this inch and a half, and we got more that we can gain, see how I've done it at an angle? So this is an inch and a half too. And I gotta kinda watch it, because if I'm thinking right, this right here, if we take and move this down to this, at the very tip, where there ain't nothing to weld to, to be honest, is that gonna be three inches? No, not really. I don't think, I guess you can figure up the triangles and probably come up with it, but you, uh, yeah, I guess it would be. An inch and a half this way, and you move it down an inch and a half. I don't know. But we're probably gonna fudge a little bit. Maybe get the angle. We're gonna do some moving around. We'll tack it up, move it around where we need it, I think, to get finally get our distance that we're looking for. I, I hope that's making sense because I don't know how to explain it. Well, I think it worked out pretty good. My two paid good. So uh, that is a little, it's probably about a two and seven eighths. No, three, four, one and seven eighths that I moved it. So I got it and I tacked it right here, fudged it around. Then I put this plate in there now I'm going to weld that up solid. Then I'm going to take another one and lay on top of it 
and fill that gap up just on the outside of course but we've got I mean look at the difference here you got the clutch and the brake you can drastically see the difference this used to be five inches just like this one was get in there and see that and now we've got three inches depending on how you measure it I thought it was an eighth inch off but it ain't it's three so I think that's gonna work out pretty good I probably should have put me another piece right about in here to kind of visually see where the floor pan is comes up to the toe board I ain't too worried about it that gives us quite a bit of movement still now we gotta come up with something on this because that's a lot of moving for just an inch and a half of clutch moving movement so I figured I'm going to, have to do something up here if I drill a hole closer will that be better or worse I know we're changing some geometry or the ratios I'm not going into all that detail and I might go look it up for myself but if I move that closer to here I think that will correct our movement, I think. Well, I think we're getting somewhere. Got this clutch one done now. As you can see, we got some movement, but not as much as we had. So me changing this two inches, shorten that throw from inch and a half to seven eighths. So I know we're gonna have to come up here and do some calculations up here next. Or calculations, modifications, you know, all that rigmarole. Let's uh, figure out what all we gotta do on that. What? Well, I was wrong. And I admit it, and I still might be wrong, and I still admit it, but this is what I did. You know, I was thinking it had to be up here somewhere, and after I really got to thinking about it, you know, with your pedal ratios and all that, it ain't going to be moving much. So we needed a bigger radius to get back what we needed. So I added this piece, tacked it on, got us a hole drilled. And I got my movement back. But you know, the movement was moved out here, so I had to lengthen that. You know, I put a little section in here to get it back to that 18 inches. And I think that will actually make the pedal feel better, easier too, if I ain't mistaken. I think. I think we'll have a better ratio when it comes down to it. So maybe if we want to update to hydraulic one day, we'll have to throw it all out because then we'll have to use something up here to go in and blah, blah. Anyways, let me see if I can show you what I'm getting at. So remember we had 18 originally. And that's where we're at again. We'll find home on tank measure still. And now we're going past that inch and a half mark just a little bit. So we're actually gaining a little bit. So we won't, we shouldn't have to hit it to the floorboard, but you know, it's there if it's needed. It gives us some free play. Well, crap. 18 to 16 three eighths. So we gained inch and five eighths 
where it was an inch and a half, so we ganged an eighth inch. And I'm hoping that, what is it, Chevy? You see my shop dog down here under my feet. Hey, Chevy, look up at the camera. Say hey to everybody. Say hi to everybody. She ain't gonna talk. Well, I guess I'm gonna tear all this apart now. Lay it down, get it burned in, weld it up. Then I'll have the joys of, you know, getting in here and disconnecting all that. Hmm, I'm dreading that already. Yeah, no, it's that brake pedal and that clutch pedal do different heights on this one anyways. Uh, I don't know why that is. But, uh, this one ain't gonna be. Well, we got it all welded up. And I just, uh, fusion Krylon the pedal, so it's hammer toning up because it's scalded hot right now. We just got that textured look going on now since it's boiling it off. I'm going to let all this cool down, paint up the rest of my parts. Then I'm going to start tearing apart darn chickens done got in here. Now I got to chase chickens out. Then we'll tear apart the 68 and get ready to put these pedals in. Well, I done drew up a little sweat here. But uh, never mind my wiring, because I ain't came back and zip tied nothing. But got it all disconnected. It's good to slide this out, and you can't because it hits over here. Get it moved up, slides, it hits under the cow part under here. So, what's that mean? It means I'm gonna have to drop the steering column, drop the hydro boost, you know, because there's four bolts right here. I'm gonna pull it away from the firewall. So I guess I'm gonna reassemble the one we had over on our mock-up stand and just swap out the assemblies, I, I suppose. I was hoping to get by without doing that, but don't look like there's any way around it. Great. Man, you're talking about getting sidetracked. I got sidetracked out of this world. Got all this tore apart, steering wheel pulled. And I went ahead and went through my wiring and I've been messing with it for hours. It's already dark time outside. But I tried to clutch out and it's clutching. It's doing better. And we got it, you know, however much that is. Let me find a tape measure. And uh, we'll see. So according to this mathematics, it's about three inches right at it. So everything worked out like it's supposed to. Well, I'm back. It's sunny again. It's the next day. I got sidetracked so bad yesterday. And uh, going back to, I don't know where I left off at. You know, the clutch is doing clutch things. It's moving. But when we had to assemble it over on the other side, you know, y'all remember, I had to lengthen this one. But apparently this one is straight or straight-ish. And apparently it goes to a six cylinder. So I had to take the one I had in my truck and lengthen it two inches. So now, you know, I permanently, temporarily might have uh, burnt that one out. We can use it for something, probably. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I got to put the steering wheel back in and I'll give you a look, see how everything works. But we're clutching, we're braking, we've got throttle. It's looking pretty good. Got the dash all buttoned back up. I still got to put the screws in it. But. All in all, 
I'm pretty satisfied with how that uh, turned out so far. Well, I got everything buttoned back up. Other than the, I got, I robbed a parking brake off of another truck. And you know, 67 eight's got that old pool type. So I got it cleaned up over there. I haven't put that back yet, but show y'all what we got going on here. So a little steering wheel would be a lot better. But originally I'd have been like way up here, you know, like, come on. But that's not too shabby. Brake, gas. Let me fire it up and I'll show y'all. It'll move. And I'm gonna give you a fair warning. I finally hooked the exhaust up. And uh, one of them engines in the past was running really, really rich. So it's still blowing blue smoke out when it warms up good. So beware. About as close as a Sasquatch is gonna to get to fitting in one of these things, I believe. And here comes the blue smoke. Well, I appreciate y'all sticking around, watching, subscribing, you know, commenting, liking, all that good stuff. If you ain't yet, go ahead and do it. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. See you on the next one.